One of our greatest needs remains within our health care workforce, especially in rural Alabama. There's just no denying it. And we need more people to fill just about every kind of health care job out there. Doctors, nurses, techs, you name it. Yeah, you just heard it there. Alabama needs more health care workers. Since the pandemic, the entire country has suffered from staffing shortages, especially in rural hospitals and clinics. And Governor Ivey's State of the State address last week, she announced that building an entire school dedicated to combating these shortages is among one of her top priorities. 48's Claudia Peppenhorst joins us now live. And Claudia, this school would be located in Demopolis, Alabama, but it would have far reaching effects on the entire state. Well, the Alabama School of Healthcare Sciences would recruit high school students from every corner of our state, train them up, and then return them to their own communities with the necessary credentials to start working in rural hospitals and clinics. Governor Ivey announced plans for the school in last year's State of the State address. Ever since then, they've hit the ground running trying to make the idea of this healthcare school a reality. This would be the fourth specialty residential high school in the state of Alabama, much like the Cyber School of Technology and Engineering right here in Huntsville. Now, Ivy and her team are asking for the legislature to help so they can get the dirt churning in Demopolis. $30 million worth of help to be exact. Rob Pearson, the founding chairman for the school, says things are already in motion as there is a designated site for the school in Demopolis and they've already secured over $26 million in funding. On top of that, students would get real hands on experience through a partnership with the hospital in Demopolis, Whitfield Regional Hospital. It would bring students in from all over the state to train them in a rural health care setting uh, adjacent to Whitfield Regional Hospital here in Demopolis. And the idea is that they would, once they graduate, They'll be able to step right in and take over several jobs uh, in a in a hospital or a clinic all over Alabama. Pearson says if everything goes accordingly, they anticipate their first freshman class in fall of 2026, training up the next generation of healthcare workers here in Alabama. Reporting live, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side.